Welcome to this presentation of Mangold Interact and Data View. Now, we at Mangold International, we are world leader in behavior, software, and research tools. Any researcher who wants to do some research needs to measure or observe something. How can you measure and observe something? You obviously can record a video or an audio. You can record physiology. You might want to record a computer screen to see what a participant is doing. And you might want to add eye tracking to your study. The major difficulty in here is how ever do you synchronize those different data sources during recording. And here's the answer. You do it with VideoSync Pro. VideoSync Pro from Mangold records your video and audio and sync and synchronizes any other kind of devices that you connect to the VideoSync Pro system. If you have some synchronized recordings, you can do some qualitative and quantitative analysis. And this is what we have proven tools for Interact and Data View. They're in the market for more than 25 years and used by thousands of researchers all around the world. As I said, you can synchronize any kind of devices. And as you can see here, you can connect any of the market leading physiology or uh, EEG recording systems. If you want to record the computer screen, you recommend LogSquare and for eye tracking, the Mangle Vision system because they're easily synchronized with everything else. I've prepared a little study here for you. And as you can see here, we have four cameras. The cameras are placed around that situation. In each corner of that room, there is a physical um, HD camera. What you want to do is we want to record those different cameras in sync and we want to record some EEG data through this cap here. We want to see the participants gaze on the screen. We want to hear what the participant is saying. We want to record all the activities the participant is doing with the computer. We want to record the eye tracking data and the entire computer screen to see what's going on. And last not least, we add the webcam as a fifth video source. Obviously, this is a complex environment, so this needs someone who can manage and observe the entire recording. This can be done here on this station. In this study, we used VideoSync Pro to record the videos and synchronize the other devices. We used an EasyCap system in the Smarting EEG recorder and LogSquare for recording the screen, the webcam, and the eye tracking data. I've prepared this already here in the background. As you can see here on the left-hand side, I have my data view with all the different channels that we recorded through the EEG system. And I can zoom in on the data and, and watch the data and play with it and define my layouts, how I want to see the different charts. Defining the layouts is pretty simple because let's say I want to have the P, um, the P4 and on the P3 chart, I just drag and drop it. I change the color to something else and um, I need to delete this empty chart then. Oops, sorry. Delete here and delete this one. Now, say OK. And now you can see I have those two channels on the same chart. Now, this allows me to arrange my data visualization in a way that allows me to really see what's going on in the data here. On the right hand side, there's my interact. I already opened uh, the videos that you now see here. And again, I have four videos coming through VideoSync Pro, through HD video cameras, so you can um, resize those videos to whatever size you want. I just make them small so that we can see the rest of the background on the screen. 
Now, very important is that this video and this video, they are recorded through LogSquare, which is a complete different technology than the videos here. However, um, this allows me now to see what's really going on on the screen. And when I play the videos, they are going to be played in sync. And as you can see here, what I see on this screen, by the way, the green dot here is the eye tracking data, is exactly matching what I see on this screen. We just pointed a camera on the participant screen to have a proof that the different data sources really run in sync. And it's exactly the same as you can see here on that screen. Now, I hope this is already impressive enough, but I'm going to add some more. Now, as I said, here is my gaze data, my eye checking data, and I can see that this is now here synchronized with all the different data sources. Now, as I said before, it's important to synchronize all the EEG with the other sources. The question now is how to synchronize the EEG. And that's pretty simple and straightforward here because we have a status channel here. And if I move my sources somewhere here at the beginning, then we might see a little peak that is, here is the peak. And the peak was sent by VideoSync Pro to the EEG system just to tell the EEG that our video recording starts at exactly this point in time. I could make a right mouse click here and just say, I want to set this value as my start point, but I can also do this automatically with a script. There is a built-in programming language that allows me to do whatever I want to do with my uh, data here. And one script is, for example, here looking for the peak in the channel in setting, then this is a zero start point. Uh, let me do this here. I, because it's already in the menu, just click here. And I need to select the channel, the status channel. Say, OK, et voila, here is my uh, peak at the start point, because this middle line is always exactly the point in time that matches all the different video sources here. Now, when I play my videos, as you can see, the data stays in sync with um, the, the EG data stays in sync with the video. Now, let me add something else because I want to do some behavior observation. I just say to interact, I want to start my observations. I let the video play and I just add my behavior codes that I see at the moment and Intract will automatically add them up here into my coding document and in this way you code through the video. The codes I have defined here are for example uh, arranged in different classes like emotion, action, assistance and feedback and the codes would be you know, smile, irritated, participant is stressed, the participant is following some instructions, um, he hears through the game, or he's making some decisions himself, he's asking for some assistance, or uh, giving some complaints, is astonished, or has a moment of joy, for example. Now, this is really very impressive already, and if I go to the analysis, let me just stop this here, you will immediately see that there is my behavior chart. I can click in this chart. All the data sources go to this point in time. When I just clicked in this data, I can even select a fragment and say, I want to, I want to play the selected area. And then in fact, plays all of this data at the same time. Now, what you can get from within here is just push this button, you get full descriptive statistics, like for example, the person was irritated three times 
for a total duration of 6.68 seconds and with percentage of 10.59% over time. And he was asking for help, for example, the first time after 21 seconds because that's the latency here and so on. So I hope you like this quick demonstration and that I can could show you the amazing power of Interact in combination with DataView and all the power of our LogSquare system and the VDSync Pro system. So thanks again and I hope to see you soon again on one of the other demos. Um, goodbye.